I just wanted to show you guys a quick clip about helping a horse begin to learn what it means to stand still to be mounted. A lot of people say, oh, he won't wait for me in the box when I'm roping. Oh, he won't wait for me to get on when I get ready to go down the trail. Oh, if I need to stop and another horse goes past, he won't wait for me to tell him to go. He decides just to kind of take it from me and walk off. Uh, if you're a barrel racer, well, my horse doesn't really wait on me to tell him to turn. He tries to turn the barrel too soon a lot of times and he anticipates the turn. Therefore, drops his shoulder and hits the barrel and costs us plus five or whatever. Well, this is an important thing to think about, all right? If your horse can't even stand still and wait for you to get on without trying to walk off, why would you be at a full run and expect him to wait on you to turn? The way he is right now, standing here all relaxed, not being asked to move really fast or anything, you would first expect them to be able to stand still for that before you would expect them to wait on you at higher speeds. And standing still, guys, it is just as important of, of a maneuver as lifting the shoulders, stopping, spin, whatever it is that you want your horse to do maneuver-wise. Standing still is just as important in a, of a maneuver. And for the reasons I just explained, that that is why. I want to show you guys a couple more tips here. If you look at all four of these feet, he's set up pretty good for me to get on, but I'm going to try to position him right here. Okay, now if you, if you look at him right here more or less, he's kind of more in a position where it would be easy for him to just kind of walk right off when I go to get on. So one thing you can do is you can try to help your horse position his feet further up under him in a way that'll help him stay more balanced as your weight goes to get on his back. So it might increase his chances of feeling comfortable to stand still for you to get on him. Then something else here, notice, notice how close together the front feet are. That's not much of a base for him. So if I was to get on, if you noticed a lot of his weight is on this foot, if I was to get on right here, it would pull him out of balance just a little bit. So I might just see if I can get this foot to step over. There, see how he's got a little more of a base now? And if you look, a little more of his weight is distributed to that foot over there. So he's in a little better of a position for this weight for this 160 pounds to come onto his side right here. Let me show you something else. These reins here, you can gather them up and if same thing when you ride one. If you noticed I'm not holding on him, there's a little float right here, but if I just move my hand about two or three inches, I've got a halt of him, okay? So if he goes to walk off as I'm getting on, all I have to do is pick my hand up and I can remind him don't move your feet when I go to get on, okay? So see, I'll get right here and then just lay this hand right here. And as you go up, you can go right here. If he was to go to walk off, I could just say, up, 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 up. And I could remind him to stay still, all right? And then when you get on, get all situated and everything and just sit up here for a little bit. Don't just get on and walk right off every time. A lot of horses think that just because they feel the weight coming onto their back that that means it's time to walk off. Well, if you could get a horse really good at waiting on you and standing still, think of how much that could improve, say, your stops. Think about what a horse does when he stops. He slows down until the point of where his feet are no longer moving. There's no more life in his feet. Well, right here, there's no life in my body and there's no life in his feet. Well, if he kept trying to walk off right here, well, think of how much more of a pushy horse that would be when I would go to stop if he didn't know what it meant to just stand here chilled out and be stopped. So that's a really important deal. You just sit up here and you can pet him for a minute and just, just give him a minute and you can start helping your horse know what it means when you want him to have no life in his body. You don't have to walk off every time you get on.